and welcome to winner's finals. We have mm, eggs versus we grow. I, I saw this coming. These two are really good players. And yeah, I'm not surprised at all that they're meeting each other in bracket, especially in winner's finals. But that rest. All the way starting off right off the bat strong. Zero. Oh, but Shine Gimp, down smash, yeah, that's oh my it. God, I answer this right back, and I think that's a, it's pretty uh, telling of what we're gonna see in this yeah. between these two. They have faced off before, I believe, at Como Four. Yes, that was grand finals. Yes. So there's there's not as much on stake, but still quite a bit. And definitely no one wants to be coming back uh, from losers. Yeah, grands having to make that six game come back. Yeah. Oh, letting Fox back on stage finally. Oh, Julie Puff does not want to stay on shield, and that up smash is going to take that stock. This is going to be even probably the entire time. We grow without rest though. And is this going to be another rest? Wow. All right, so we are coming up to a, a bit of a lead this first game. Oh, that shine. Not going to come back from that. Yeah, you know, he only needs uh, one more of those. And Jigglypuff has five jumps, and that's really good, but no up B option to recover. Which, yeah, if you eat all five of those jumps. What? All right, that was game one with Weebro taking it. Free for all, Captain Falcon. All right, so you need internet? Yes. Yes, that would be lovely. Okay, so you guys. Okay. All right, and looks like we have game two. It is. We have Meg switching to Captain Falcon. This is... I'm not sure what... I'm not quite sure on this matchup, but... It's not one I see often. But looks like Wegro is... Taking a very solid lead so far. Jigglypuff missing... Just dodging everything. Alright, Oh, That stomp! Finally taking it. Stealing the lead from Wegro there. Got some uppies and another stomp. Still alive. Alright. Alright. And looks like we are. The stock count is 4-4. Four to four. Falcon with a bit of a lead and that back air. That's gonna do something. That up here takes it. Oop, stay on ledge. Things are popping up. Kevin is not here to uh, assist me in getting rid of these things I don't, that I should not touch. <laughs> All right, and. Oh man, that's very unfortunate for Captain Falcon. This isn't melee, he can't turn around. Can't have a turnaround grab on, re on ledge. That rest though. Yeah, you guys are connected, so. Oh, thank you, by the way. Nice back air. All right, some up airs and more up airs and a back air. See what he does with the sledge guard. All right, and looks like. All right. Back to neutral. And just fighting. Just, just stay on stage. Both of them. 
And there we go. Back throw. That's going to take it. Captain Falcon finally taking the lead. Oh, getting on stage. Okay, and that forward smash, not going to take it just yet, but gives him a very good chance for edge guarding. It is. Oh, that back throw. Jesus Christ, this is better than my speed up. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. All right, back, back air. That's gonna take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Megs took that one, and ladies and gentlemen, might we might just get connected to the internet for this. All right, we got Weegro switching to Kirby. I've seen his Kirby before. This one, this should be interesting. As I said before, this is definitely Captain Falcon's worst matchup in the game against Kirby. And you're about to see why these up tilts, that back air, and instantly take a spike and that stock. Kirby having so good maneuverability. Oh, and all right, we got a throw. And an uppy. Let's see what we get to do with this. Oh, smash. Finally grab. Finally takes the land. Ooh. Nice use of the rock. Oh, throw. It's up, baby. Don't leave your shit over here. I made a big post about not leaving your shit over here. Alright. Forward throw. Up tilt. Nair. Where's one? Oh man. Captain. So we are officially alive. Oh, that's awesome. Oh man. Just. Alright. And welcome, people who are just now joining us. This is. This is Komomo 6 Dash Dances with Wolves. This is Winners Finals of 64. You are, we are in process of deciding who goes in the Grand Finals. Megs with his Count Falcon doing solid work against this Kirby right now. But we grows Kirby. Usually Jigglypuff main, but switching to Kirby for some specific matchups, like Cap Falcon, and just being a monster right now. Back throw is gonna take that though. And three stocks to two. Cap Falcon basically a shell of a man right now. <laughs> oh, that back throw. Let's see what we get off of this. Oh, nope, not gonna let him on stage. Get that forward smash, take that stock. Oh, back air. He just really wants a stomp right now. That could turn the game around so so much if he can just get one good combo. Up air isn't going to do it just yet. But, got that ledge hog. Yep. All right. Oh, we go as Kirby. Definitely gonna take that first. Yeah, taking that, taking that third game. I really like his patience. Like, even even though he was at the upper hand. He didn't risk anything by whenever he was on the ground. Just kind of waiting, then walk up down smash. I am bumping into the table right now. 
Don't worry about the loud noises under the table. There's nothing under there, I promise. Alright, we're starting off round game four. And it's Fox versus Kirby. Kirby dodging a lot of these lasers. Oh. Getting a little bit of combo opportunity here. 62 to 80. Both characters can very easily take it just right now. Ed, jab up smash. That's going to do it. All right. First stock goes to him eggs. Didn't sweet spot that ledge, but made it on. All right. Up tilt. Up air. Back air. Ooh. All right. Some seeing some very solid play from Megs right now. And Firefox, game punished for not making it on stage. Gets that ledge hog. Four to four. Kirby at 100%. One good up smash or back air. Some lasers. I'll take that trade. I don't even think he just made. Probably just didn't even grab the ledge. Oop, down tilt, up smash. Meg's staying away. Doing playing the laser game. All right, officially got uh, pretty much everything set up. Still have to share the team, so uh, if you feel like doing that, you can do that. But uh, welcome to all the viewers. This is winner's finals of 64. All right, and looks like we have Megs and Wegro. And Megs about in the lead right now in terms of this game, but Wegro still at winning at two to one right now. Yeah, so you're uh, draining us a little bit uh, halfway through winner's finals right now. Um, Very nice uh, back air play from Kirby there. Yep, and Kirby is uh, being played by Wegro from Warrensburg. Uh, not, not unfamiliar with uh, winners and grand finals or any uh, set that has finals in the title. <laughs> uh, right. Usually makes it there either against AWOL or uh, against the other man you see playing today, Megs. Uh, Megs is a Columbia resident. Uh, Megs is a Columbia resident, uh, second, second in Columbia only to AWOL who could not make it to, uh, to this today. I shout out, happy birthday to AWOL. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday AWOL. I think Megs actually said he's from Kansas City, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, who did we? Megs. Megs from Kansas City? This yeah. is news to me. <laughs> Whatever. He's friends with Shinobi, that makes him, that makes him, uh, that makes him come on in my heart. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, oh, I just, you know, you really here, but you got left it. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I says, dude, I will help you as soon as the winner's finals is over. All right, and looks like dash attack up smash, that's gonna take it. Yep. And, and, mm, eggs. On taking Wegro to the last stock on this one. We're probably gonna see a game five, honestly. Oh my gosh. He tries to go way high. I think he almost uh, tried to bait him into hitting him. Yeah. Which he definitely would have recovered if he if he did that. Oh! Wow. Alright. So, we go taking game three. That was game three. Yeah. <laughs>